Coming up today on YOLO Texas. This is impressive. I think impressive is not the best word because this is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Join us on our trip across Texas. Over in Glen Rose is a venue that they say you have to see for yourself, the Texas Amphitheater. It's home to the promise, which is what we'll be seeing tonight. So let's go learn some more about this Texas gem. Thank you for having us out here. This venue is incredible. Can you tell me how it came about? This uh, beautiful amphitheater was constructed in 1989. Oh. And it was, uh, it was the vision of a group of investors, businessmen, who wanted to see a, a full-time operation out here with a, a live musical uh, based on the Gospel of Matthew telling the story of Jesus. And it's, it's uh, endured as it's become a fantastic um, tradition in our area. It's a place where we've had hundreds of thousands of people come through the years, uh, not just from Texas, but all across the United States and even internationally. So. It, it started with a vision, and this is what is accomplished when somebody has a big vision. It's pretty incredible. Uh, the first time I got here last year, I saw the stage just walked in the top of the, the amphitheater and was like, wow, I had no idea this was here, didn't know that something like this existed in this area, and I think that's, that's true for a lot of people. The Texas Amphitheater has 3,200 seats. Which is the best seat in the house? <laughs> All right, so, I mean, you can see the way this, this thing is designed. There is not a bad seat at all. Um, a lot of people like to sit really close to the front, but I feel like if you're, if you're seven or eight rows back, you uh -huh. just get the, the whole panorama of the thing. Okay. Um, and there are details that you might miss, I think, if you're sitting too close. So, but okay. there's really not a bad, bad I was going to say, place. it's a completely different view, right? Yeah, is it? It's, it's <laughs> yes. just absolutely beautiful. What makes this amphitheater so unique is that it was designed specifically around this musical production that was written. Okay. And uh, so that it features a lot of, of things. You walk in, and I think just when you hit the top of the amphitheater, there's that, that sense of, uh, this is bigger than I thought. Um, such a really neat facility, giant outdoor amphitheater, purpose built for this show. I've done a little bit of theater aside from this, but they've all been indoors and pretty small, so performing here, it's just, it's unmatched. I mean, it's under the stars and the natural fresh air, seeing everybody outside, it's just an amazing experience, a lot of joy. One feature that uh, you will not see anywhere else in the United States is this 48,000 gallon moat that surrounds the whole stage. Yes. And uh, so it becomes uh, the Sea of Galilee and also the Jordan River. Oh, wow. Uh, and it's one of the scenes that, uh, the couple of scenes that the audience really loves. I like to bring the audience into the action. You know, I, I, I like to think of this more as we're participating in something we're not just watching. Right, right. You know, a production. So I bring some of the actors in <laughs> through the audience and use this little bridge to get them yeah. to get them from the seating and then once they're all up here then we have to take it away because the boat has to sail through Ooh, the Sea of Galilee okay. so it has to disappear. All right. This is level two, level two and there's a surprise that happens at level two. We do have an actor that appears right here in that trap door and some uh, nice little pyrotechnic effects that happen when he, oh. when he shows up, so okay. you can be excited about that. We just want to show you the, yeah. kind of give you a perspective on the enormity of some of oh these, some of these sets that roll, wow. that roll in here. Oh, this okay. is, yeah. This is, this is impressive. I think impressive is not the best word because this is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
So tell us a little bit about The Promise now. So The Promise, uh, it's an uh, original musical score. It's not a passion play. That's one thing that people automatically assume that this is, because it's about Jesus, it's a passion play. It has the elements of a passion play, but it's a musical. Live animals, we've got camels, donkeys, horses, <laughs> uh, a herd of sheep. Uh, it's just an amazing experience. Live animals always make things interesting because they're well trained, but every once in a while uh, something doesn't quite go the way that you expect it to. This is Rowdy Chatham. He's our, Hello. He's our animal wrangler. So Rowdy has four beautiful children and they're all in the show. Oh. Uh, they're not only in the show, but they, oh. help, they help train the animals. It's just amazing. Uh, they're, they're naturals with the, with the animals. <laughs> I think it's really important that we maintain the tradition of what the show has been, but also that we move forward with the times. And so over, over the past few years, we've, we've done some revisions, um, we've added some new music, um, some new scenes to keep it fresh, you know, right, to, keep, right. to do things that keep people coming back. And what are they going to do this year? It's pretty intense because it's a short amount of time for such a big production and putting it all together, but it's a huge blessing and I, it brings me a lot of joy. I love doing it and I can't imagine not doing it. This is my 20th season. We have 150 people that run this show wow. um, and it runs uh, for 22 performances. Okay. Uh, in in 2021, we'll also have a spring season that will run over Passover weekend and uh, finale on Easter. Oh, so wow. that's, a, that's a thing that we're adding as well. You know, with a cast typically of over 100 people, it's, it's a pretty big show. Um, and it's, it's, I think people, for the first time, would not expect it to be as intricate and big, kind of all at the same time, as this. I'm very excited to be here. I'm excited to see the magic that goes into this performance and experience it here in this beautiful venue. I think you are going to experience something very, very special, and I hope that Texans will learn more about the promise and this special treasure and experience what this little slice of what Texas and Glen Rose has to offer. Coming up next, we head to the largest indoor water park in North Texas. It's going to be epic. Take a piece of our travels with you. On your next adventure, shop our exclusive store for shirts, mugs, and even masks to celebrate what it means to be a true traveling Texan. Head on over to YOLOTX.com for all things YOLO Texas. We'll see you all on the road. So it's a little bit of a chilly day here in Grand Prairie, Texas. So what's the first thing that comes to mind that we should do on a gloomy day? I know, how about let's go swimming at an epic water park. We are actually part of a massive development called Epic Central here in Grand Prairie, Texas. This place truly is epic. Tell us a little bit more about Epic Water. How big is this place? Because it's like the Jerry's World of Water Park. You know it is, and we're so, so proud of it. Our water park here is 80,000 square feet. Everything's bigger in Texas, right? It truly, <laughs> truly is, and that was the idea behind it, too. We've got a fully retractable roof as well, so we are indoor, and we keep it temperature controlled in here. So really, it is technically always summer at Epic Water. Yeah, that is the beautiful thing about here is it's cold outside, who cares? You can just come in here and you can yes. still enjoy all the summer fun year around. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and break it down because there's a lot going on here. What should we dive into first? We have so much to offer here. We've got 12 exhilarating water slides on. We've actually got the longest indoor lazy river in Texas. We've got our Flowrider Surf Simulator over here. That's where people can learn how to either bodyboard or surf. Stand up. Yeah, and you can't surf everywhere here in Texas, so might as 
still get a chance here. You can't. You get a continuous wave there. It really does give you the feeling of actually surfing. We've got an activity pool with basketball hoops if you enjoy playing basketball. Yep. And we've got a children's area that's completely interactive. It's got a giant tipping bucket in it. We actually just opened our wave pool too. So our wave pool is called Epic Waves. It's open all summer and we're really excited to welcome guests out there. We've got activities going on yeah. all summer long, so it's really exciting. from the outside looking in, this place is pretty much like a stadium. Perfect place for 100%. events. Yes. So and we actually land. call ourselves a cruise ship on land. If you oh. look at the aerial footage of our park, we've got the point and nose, which is actually the wave pool, so it's the tip of the ship. Right. We're thinking of the right place for sure. We have yeah. birthday party packages built for everyone. You don't want to stay in a party room for an hour and a half with a birthday party. You can rent out a cabana, and cool. then you can enjoy the water park all day admission included in your birthday package. Our day in Grand Prairie continues here on Yellow Texas. Okay, so it's a rainy day here in Grand Prairie, but the weather is always a gamble here in Texas, which is very fitting considering this is the nature of today's shoot. We're at Lone Star Park. We're going to be horse bedding, and this is a first here on the show, and I'm so excited to experience it all. They say the horses are ready. Are we? Let's find out.
Lone Star Park has been here for 22 years. It came up out of the ground, uh, the city of Grand Prairie. So many people came involved to build us when they passed Paramutual Racing 22 years ago. And it was built to be one of the premier sporting destinations in the Metroplex. And as you can see, it stacks up with, you know, where the Rangers play, the Cowboys play, and say. also the Mavs play. So it really is like the Jerry's world. Of yeah, it, all, right? it is. It is. Oh my goodness. Okay. I would love to know some more terminology before we get started. So what are some of the, you know, jargon, the lingo, what are some words that I can kind of catch on that makes me, you know, feel okay. fit in a little bit better? Real simple. <laughs> Any race that goes one turn is called a sprint. When they start here at the finish line and go around the racetrack, that's called a mile or four further, a two-turn race, a two-turn or a route race. Okay. And then the old saying is, is racing has many levels of racing. Okay. You have from today, we have big stakes races all the way down to a low level race, kind of like a handicap in golf. Okay. So in racing, you can put your horses in certain levels. The okay. goal is to win. So the old jug jargon in racing is to say, if you want your horse to win, the best hop is a drop. Best hop is a drop. That means you're going it. from a $20,000 claimer to a $5,000 claimer. You're getting down in there and you're going to get <laughs> after them. <laughs> so the best hop is a drop. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. And okay. the next best thing, the very best thing is show me the money. Show me the money. <laughs> show me the That's money. That's when you got that winning ticket. <laughs> <laughs> That's so amazing. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for breaking it down for us. Uh, I, I have so many more questions. So you and I, let's take a walk. Let's get to really know this place and then maybe put a bet in. Well, let's see the lay of the land. Then we'll get down to the serious business of making money. I'm ready. I'm All ready. Right, Show me it. the money. <laughs> <laughs>
So, you want to make a bet? All right, I got, I got who I want. Francis Fru Fru. Yeah. I'm ready for you. You're ready for Fru Fru. All right, so we're going to give her a voucher. Now, here's the best thing about it. The Lone Star Park Marketing Department said, give a woman a good starting point. You see what that is? Two bills. Two, Two bills. All right, dollars. now, you want to do the bet. Now, here's what you do. Okay, it says $5 for a win place show, number eight, Frenchy Fru Fru, $15 all the way around. Perfect, and the most important thing is hit that button when you're done. There's your money, because that is a voucher, that is real money, and good luck, and oh as they goodness. say in the game, you are off to the races. Off to the races! I'm like goosebumps, everything, let's do this. Frenchy Fru Fru's moving up, she's got two horses beat. You got the, the one and the two horse on the speed up there in the front. Oh goodness, now you start to see Frenchy starting to move. They're you see going Frenchy so through through, moving, starting to move. Oh, let's now go. is Frenchy starting to run on. Oh, Maybe she can get up and run second. Keep cheering. Keep Come cheering. on, let's go, let's go. Keep cheering. Frenchy. Keep cheering. Keep cheering. Come on, let's go. Thanks, Frenchy. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> that happened so fast. It happened so fast. Oh, and we my see. Goodness. See how the race unfolded? The front horse, speed horse got out there and no one put any pressure. Frenchie was way back there, tried to make a run, right. but the speed horse kept going. And yeah. the only thing about that ticket is, it now gets thrown in the trash can <laughs> because you didn't win the top three. But, so but it gets your pulse going, doesn't it? It was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Oh Welcome my goodness, the, the adrenaline. There you go. All of this is just so exciting. It's adrenaline pumping, my heart is pounding, and I'm definitely working up an appetite. And the great thing about Lone Star Park is you don't have to go very far. They have a restaurant over here called Silk's Restaurant, and they got plenty of food, plenty of options to choose from. And so I went with something very light, or so I thought it was gonna be a light with the salmon, but there's also some great sides that come along with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. Bon appetit.